So the first step is get your baby fingers and tuck away your other fingers. Bring them underneath the lace and close them around the lace. Now get your pincer grips on either side, index and thumb. On this side, we're gonna go underneath the lace. And on this side, we're gonna go over the lace. Now you've got your two laces. I want you to get your pincer grip on this side and grab the lace in the middle. Roll the lace off the top of the finger on the other side and pull fast. Good job. That was really well done. Now let's open them out again and practice again. So pull the two hard parts so it opens out. Baby fingers go under, close them, pincer grip. Pincer grip under, pincer grip over, grab, roll off and pull. Super. Now, if it doesn't stay closed like this, let's try and do a double knot. For a double knot, you need to pinch your two bunny ears. Your middle finger needs to lie on the knot while you wrap one bunny ear around the back of the other one and make an X. Take out your middle finger and push that lace from the back through the hole, grab it on the other side, grab your other lace and pull tight. There you have it, all done. If you found this way really difficult, go check out my other videos and I'm sure you'll find another way that will suit you. What I want you to do first is take your shoe off and place it in front of you like this. So it's like as if you're putting it on your foot, but we're gonna practice it first so you know the steps before you put the shoe on. So first thing I want you to do is open out your laces so one is on either side. You're gonna come in underneath your laces and you're gonna pinch it with your thumb on the top. Nice and close to the shoe, so not down here at the end, nice and close to the shoe. Once you're pinching there, what I want you to do is pull out so your laces are nice and tight. So, you pinch it and you pull out. That's our first step. Our next step is to cross the laces across each other to make an X. See the X in the front? Now I'm gonna pinch that X right between the two laces with one hand and then I'm gonna get the lace that's at the front, pass it underneath our X, and grab it on the other side. Now you can let go of your pinch, grab the other lace, and pull out. Excellent, you've done the next step. So, if you haven't mastered this step, I want you to keep practicing it until you get it, and then you can move on to our next step. So, our next step is, we're gonna lift the lace with one hand, push the lace in the middle with the other hand and then pinch. So I'm gonna show you that again to make your bunny ear. We're gonna lift with one hand, push not at the end, in the middle and then pinch. Now you have one of your bunny ears. Next what I want you to do is get your other lace and wrap it around the bunny ear on top of your fingers and let it go. Now I want you to find this hole that's here beside this bunny ear. You're gonna get the top of your lace and push it through so it's starting, oh, it's starting to peep out. This hand that's free is gonna hold this bunny ear and your other hand is gonna hold this bunny ear. When I say go, we pull it out. Oh, well done. You have just tied your laces. Now I have got very little string or lace here so I'm gonna pull that out a little bit. So I've got a bit of space. Now we're gonna do our double knot. This is important so our laces don't open. So you're gonna get your two bunny ears and you're gonna give another little pull to make it nice and tight. So not a big long pull, just a short, tight pull. Now what I want you to do is get your two bunny ears, you put one bunny ear in front of the other to make your X again, and you do the same as the start. You pass the bunny ear underneath and you grab it on the other side and you pull it tight then you have your double knot. So I want you to work your way through each step until you've it mastered. When you're opening your lace, you wanna get this part on the top of the lace and keep pulling it until it frees that knot. When that knot is open, grab your two laces on these parts and pull out to open it out. Then all you have to do is free the two laces. So I'm gonna get go through each of the steps again. Step one. Pinch the laces and pull out. Step two, make an X and pinch. Step three, 
pass the lace underneath the X and grab it. Step four, grab the two laces and pull out nice and tight. Step five, lift, push, pinch. Step six, wrap around the bunny ear. Step seven, push it underneath. Step eight, grab, grab, pull. Brilliant. Step nine is making your double knot. So wrapping it around, pushing it underneath till it pokes out, grab, grab and pull. So I hope that helped you learn how to tie your laces. If you're able to do each of those steps really quick, then you can practice putting your foot into the shoe and then tying your laces again. I hope this helps. So the very first step is to open out your shoe so your laces are on either side. Then I want you to come underneath your laces and pinch it with these two fingers, your pincer grip, index and thumb. The next step is take this lace on the right side and wrap it behind the other lace and pinch it when you have an X. The lace that's at the back should get tucked underneath and grab it with the same hand. When you have that lace, grab the other lace and pull out. Nice and tight. So let me do that step for you again. Pinch it, wrap it around the back and make an X. Pinch it in that middle part. Wrap it underneath, grab it, grab the other lace and pull out. That's your first step. Keep practicing that step until you get it. The next step is to make a bunny ear. So reach over and lift the middle of your lace. Don't come to the end, come to the middle part and push it in and pinch it when you get really close to that knot. Let's do that part again. This is really important. Lift it, push it in the middle and pinch it as close to that knot as you can get. Now you only have one hand to do your other bunny ear. So come to the middle of the lace, lift it up, move it in and pinch it again. So this can be tricky, so try again. Come to the middle part, lift it up, come in and pinch it. Now you've got your two bunny ears. If one is much bigger than the other, you can make it a little bit smaller. Now this part is really important. We're going to do the same movement as we did at the beginning, but you need to keep this part in the middle open. So use your middle finger to lie it on top of your knot. Wrap your bunny ear around the back of the other bunny ear, like we did at the beginning. And now you're gonna tuck it underneath. So move that finger out of the way, tuck it under, grab it on the other side with this hand. Now grab your other bunny ear and pull out. So I know that part might be a bit tricky, so let's do that again. So grab your two free laces and pull it out. That's how you open your bunny ears. So let's do our bunny ears again. Lift it, push it in the middle and pinch it. Get the middle part of the lace, move it in and pinch it. Put your middle finger on the knot, wrap around the back and tuck it underneath. Grab it, grab it, pull it. Good job. Now, if you wanna do a double knot so it doesn't open, pick up your bunny ears again, lay your middle finger on the knot, wrap it around the back again, tuck it underneath, grab it, grab it, and pull it. Good job. So if you found that way really difficult, go check out my other videos because I can teach it in lots of different ways. This is a really good way for kids who struggle with making a bunny ear independently. Also, these laces are called caterpillar laces and they're really nice for kids when they're starting out. So the first step is to take the shoe off so it's in front of you. This is important because once your foot goes in, it's much harder to tie your laces. Open out the laces and get your hands to come underneath pinch the laces using your pincer grip, your index and your thumb. Wrap the lace around the back of the other lace and make an X, pinch it here in the middle. Take this lace at the back 
and put it underneath. When you see it coming out, grab it with that hand, grab the other lace with the other hand and pull out. As you can see, when the laces are different colors, it's even easier for kids to do that step. The next step I want you to do is take the end of the lace and put it through a hole at the top of your shoe and pull it through a little bit. Then get the other lace and put it through the hole on the top of the other side and pull it through. So now what you want to do is pinch your two bunny ears. Get your middle finger and lay it on top of the knot. Now wrap your bunny ear around the back of the other bunny ear and make your X. Take out your finger, get your bunny ear at the back and push it through. Grab it on the other side, grab the other lace and pull out. Oh, you did it. Now you can leave these two laces in if it's comfortable or you can take them out. If you need to do a double knot, pinch your bunny ears again, put your middle finger on the knot, wrap your bunny ear around the back, take out your finger and push it through. Grab it, grab it and pull. You did it, good job.